Hi everyone, we wanted to share a few updates on our civic engagement project, Project 2020. We've done workshops with two groups of young people across Westchester during the last few weeks. Two of those groups were Good for Girls, where the age range was 16 and 17, and Sleepy Hollows High School Contemporary Issues classes, where the age range is 17 to 18. It was my first time facilitating a group, and it's possibly their first time having the conversations around voting and civic engagement. Despite the anxiety around that and around the election that we just had, there was a lot of engagement and meaningful conversation around how to be active in our community. We found out that some of the Sleepy Hollow students were actually already pre-registered to vote. They were. It was really interesting because, you know, when we ask that question, sometimes we get a mixed bag, but there was more than we might have expected. We were already pre-registered, which is great, which means that they automatically will be registered when they turn 18 if they pre-registered now. The workshops were very interactive. We always try to have a very interactive discussion, conversation, and workshops with any young people we work with, but we also wanted to make sure that we had other ways of getting feedback. So we did surveys and we actually found that the number one topic that they found most useful during the session was actually the focus on community issues and why those issues are important to them. And then there was a tie between two other topics. One was an overview of voting and local leaders. So we showed them information on voting and how it worked and a basic overview of that, as well as who their local leaders are in Sleepy Hollow and at the state. And the second topic that there was a tie between was civic engagement and how people are both active or inactive in their community. And we know that that was shaped by their parents, guardians, family, friends. And so we allowed them to bring that into the conversation and, and reflect a little bit on, on why that is. So additionally, in the feedback, they said that they learned about who their elected officials are, which Josh touched upon, and how they actually do care about what people have to say about surrounding these issues, even when there isn't an upcoming election. So they said that they would learn or take that out of how to use their voice more and how powerful their voices can be, even just on the local level. We highlighted the role of local government and because the conversation is mostly always around federal government and the state government, we always often forget how impactful local government is and how important of a role they play in our everyday life. So we also talked about that and how for those who didn't know how to pre-register at 16 or 17 or knowing that that was an option that was available to them, now they know that they can pre-register to vote and that'll automatically turn them into a registered voter when they turn 18. Just like Jasmine was saying about the election, we provided some timely election resources like our Project 2020 toolkits, which actually has a voting section within there. So if you go through, you can see more step-by-step -step information on how to cast a ballot, what sort of things to look for and things to look out for. And in addition to research and what ways to get some information and research that's reliable. And one of those was actually our candidate survey, a nonpartisan effort. So we surveyed everybody um, who was running for election in New York State at the state level who represented Westchester and allowed in a visualization of a map to actually see who is running to represent you and where they stand on issues affecting children. And so we shared those with, with the young people that we worked with and encourage them to, to look at that in terms of getting information and figuring out who they want to vote for. So we are still working with these groups. For example, we'll be working with Sleepy Hollow High School for the next couple of weeks. I think just because the 2020 election is over doesn't mean that the focus on civic engagement and talking about all these issues that impact our lives greatly um, or on an everyday basis will stop. So Project 2020 is a year-round initiative, and it's one that we're excited to continue working with and bringing across to Westchester County.